Hi there, fourth graders. This is Miss Knight here, and we're going to continue our geometry unit with polygons and symmetry today. Our target is I can identify and draw polygons with symmetry. Now, lines are everywhere around us. We have either lines that are on the same plane that never intersect, and those are called parallel lines. Parallel lines could be on a railroad track. These two rails will never intersect, otherwise the train would crash, right? Another pair of lines that do intersect and form 90 degree angles at the corners are called perpendicular lines. These might be a set of power lines that you see up in the air. We have a pole and a cross beam that form 90 degree angles right here. And the last pair of lines are intersecting lines and these are lines that cross each other and do not form 90 degrees. And this example is lines that have two railroad tracks that cross. These would not be 90 degree angles right here. We have many types of polygons that we could make with lines, and polygons have been around since the ancient Greek times. The very first polygon being a star, a pentagram. Don't try to memorize this list of names. Let's watch a video to learn about different types of polygons. Pi is a prefix, that means three. Triangles have three sides like a sail on the sea. Quad, a prefix, that means four. Quadrilaterals have four sides like a door. Penta is a prefix, that means five. Pentagons have five sides like a school's own walk sign. Hexa, a prefix, that means six. What shape is this? Quadrilateral. What shape is this? Pentagon. What shape is this? Hexagon. What shape is this? Heptagon. What shape is this? Octagon. What shape is this? Nonagon. What shape is this? Decagon. Two last things before we go. A polygon has to have straight sides, you know. And a polygon has to be a close shape. The vertices and sides can't have any grace. So is this a polygon? No. But is this a polygon? Hope you enjoyed that song and that you learned some of the shape names that you haven't learned before. A few more tips about shapes. So we have regular and irregular shapes. And regular shapes are just that you have equal sides and equal angles like this pentagon right here. And this irregular shape does not have equal sides or equal. Let's also take a look at lines of symmetry inside polygons. Now if we fold a polygon in half, and both halves are equal in size, then we call that a line of symmetry in these shapes. Let's take a look at these ones. When we look at this one, good. We're gonna have a line of symmetry right here. When we look at this one, a line of symmetry right here. How about this one? Good, right, this one, right here, this one, right here. Wouldn't so much be this way, would it? Because it's a little bit more oval, so it's only be one line of symmetry. Here's this one, right here. There's one line of symmetry on this one line of symmetry here and one line. Let's take a look at more complex shapes. Now how about these? Only two of these actually have lines of symmetry. Can you tell which ones? Which two can be folded in half and be equal on both sides? Good, we're going to take a look at this top one. This one can be folded in half right here. So this has one line of symmetry. However, if we look at this shape, this does not have a line of symmetry. We cannot fold it in half and it be equal on both sides. 
This one does. Good, we can fold them in half diagonal and they'd be equal on both sides. This one does not. Because of these extra lines in here, we cannot fold it in half and it'd be exactly the same on both sides. Some polygons have more than one line of symmetry. If we folded this across here, good, there's one line of symmetry. We can fold it across vertically. There's two lines of symmetry. We can fold it in half diagonally. There's another line of symmetry. And one more way, we can fold it in half this way. So there's four lines of symmetry in this complex shape right here. What about a circle? How many lines of symmetry do you think a circle has? Now remember, a line of symmetry has to go right through the middle of the circle. And so we could fold it in half this way, this way, and this way, and this way. There's an infinite number of lines of symmetry in a circle because we could keep folding it in half different ways and they would always be equal on both halves. Challenge for you today for this lesson is create a polygon riddle. Now you're gonna take all of your learning from today and share a riddle with fourth grade students. I'm gonna pick the top five, and here's one for you. I'm an irregular polygon, so that means the sides do not have to be equal. I have two right angles. I have only one pair of parallel sides. What am I? Take a moment and pause the video and see if you can draw it. Many of you might have come up with this one, or this one, or this one. Excellent, very good. There's lots of different options, isn't there? Now, what if I said it had to have one line of symmetry? Then only this one would be the option. I challenge you to create your own riddle and it's linked inside of the menu and you're just going to put your name, your teacher, and just write your own riddle. And I'd love to see them. You can put them inside your menu or you can submit this Google form for me to look at and um, put out to fourth graders in your next minute. It was nice working with you today, fourth graders. Bye for now.